everybody smell like fish? Rose Thomas Bannister. These are my, this is my illustrious band. Thank you so much for coming out. Thanks, Phil, for asking us. So, um, if you have difficulties with people, you can always write an album about them comparing them all to different characters from Macbeth. So you'll hear a couple of those songs today, starting with this one. Flyaway Robin, vintage 1968. So um, I was learning how to play um, the Chelsea Morning song by Joni Mitchell, and I was thinking about how people say that song is about Leonard Cohen, and that Leonard Cohen has a Chelsea Hotel song that he told everybody was about James Joplin. And I was just thinking about everybody getting it on at the Chelsea Hotel, um, and uh, you know, I learned that Leonard Cohen felt really bad about telling everybody that it was Janis Joplin in a song because the details are a little intimate. Uh, you know, she herself, you know, went to Rolling Stone and told everybody everything about everybody. 
uh, but he still felt it was ungentlemanly and said he wished he could apologize. So I started to think about what that apology would sound like coming from Leonard Cohen to Janis Joplin in the afterlife. Um, but, uh, you know, kind of underneath of it, uh, we have the, the, the less kissy telly person, which is Joni, and I used all the words from, from her song. So that's kind of fun. Um, all right, um, here we go. song is called As Birds Do. Um, who's like, I know a lot about Macbeth. Anybody? All right. Uh, so um, 
my album, I do have an EP version of this out now, but the B side of my album, which is coming out soon actually, it's exciting, uh, is, is these songs about Macbeth, and I kind of talk about mothers and children and plants and animals. And so there's, you know, Lady Macbeth, and there's Lady Macduff, and um, she's like the nice one. Uh, but this is an interesting conversation, um, you know, about her and her kid and, you know, um, I don't know how to explain it really, but there's a really cute picture of Bob in like 1968, uh, dressed up as Macduff's son, the little boy, in the, in the play, wearing little tights, which, you know, spoiler alert, he dies, so it's like very tragic. A very cute, very cute picture. So it's also the scene most likely to get cut from that picture. I have so many thoughts about that, but I'll just sing you a song.
James Fleet on the saxophone, and Luke. We have Nancy Colstein on the drums doing double duty today. And this is Debbie Schwartz on the bass. This is my man Bob Bannister on the electric guitar. Thank you. 
if I tell you there's a sing-along, does that make it more or less likely for you to sing along? Now raise your hand if it makes you dread the whole song for waiting for the sing-along part. Oh, right, you don't have to do that. <laughs> anyway, here we go. <laughs> this is called The Lake of Fire Is Not Love. Whoa. Lake of Fire is not in tune. Thank you. 
called Birth Mother.
check, check, check. Check the guy's track record. Check the record, check the guy's track record. <coughs> sound out there. Hey, thank you so much for coming and thanks to Rose for playing such an awesome set. Definitely felt the summer vibes. We're Psychic Lions. Uh, Alright, here we... Uh, Can you hear yourself? Check all the mics. Is the guitar too loud? Oh. 
to take you on a journey uh, halfway around the globe.
By the way, thanks to Colin and Mama Tried for having all of us here. Thanks to the weather gods for finally, hopefully we'll stick around. Thank you to the cars on the Gowanus Expressway. Everybody knows the mind. 
wondering why everyone's spinning faster than you are. Uh, and uh, if you look on the back table, there's a uh, little QR code if you want to pre-order the new album. Uh, really stoked to hear uh, Life in a Blender. Oh, keep buying drinks. Val's working the bar. Say hi to Val. The weather is like doing, there's all kinds of malicious things to your musical instruments. Uh, once again, we're Psychic Lines.
gonna do a really, really new song called Next Bad Thing. I'll check my tuning really quick. Uh, did I mention that uh, we're totally psyched to see uh, Life in a Blender? Yes. And uh, thanks again to Rose. We got two more. And that Colin, what a sound man. Yeah. Yeah, thanks to Colin Thank for Colin. running this whole place. It's a lovely establishment. We love playing here.
Thanks to Dan Baker, Nancy Colsey.
solo show up in Montreal and right, right before you went on stage, right before you went on stage, he said a dog took a big crap on the stage, so we're trying to top that kind of reaction today. Anybody's feeling the uh, the urge? <laughs> yeah. 
We got. Uh, you may be feeling it. Do it over on the string side. <laughs>
Look at this fellow right here. We are the freaks of music here. This fellow right over here from uh, Snatchacan, Snatchacan, Manitoba, crawled out of a ditch full of eels, picked up that guitar, found its G spot, and sent that guitar quivering. Yet he found peace. For years he pretended to be the shadow of a monkey puzzle tree. It's all true. Even at night, he pretended to be the shadow of a monkey puzzle tree. Still as can be, yet shifting as shadows tend to want. Cower under his unpredictable shifting. Lose your mind in the coin slot at the back of his head. Listen for the clink. If it ever hits bottom. He is Al, the most hideous of Houghtons. Thank you. 
to dangle their feet off the damn and watch Hollywood. Once we said we'd go there too, see what all the big kids do.
you. That was uh, for the Bushwick Book Club, a song based on a book called Man Without a Country, Kurt Vonnegut book, where he talks about bluebirds. Not returning. Surprisingly. We have these wonderful t-shirts. The upside down version, yeah. This version too. Come see us. They're in at least two sizes. Well, 
We do have a few more. And we need your piece. Seat. Remember, nothing ever feels good unless it's done real quickly and makes you scream. At least that's what God tells me. 
in our private late at night moments when no one else can hear him but me. God threw away the book when he built this crazy nimble footed beast. He is shine on you crazy dynamo, Ken Meyer. Super fast, as if the sun and the moon and the ocean and cream filled donuts were bound together in human form, as if the beauty of an angel were manipulated to fit inside your shoe, giving your foot a renewed reason to stay with the rest of your body, as if a squadron of the most talented flying nuns landed in your giant bird feeder, filled with holy communion wafers in your backyard, as if her name were the equivalent of Tiffany plus Gucci plus Gumbo. She is Rebecca. Weezer Thomas, no, Rebecca Windsor Terrace, no, Rebecca Weiner Tompkins. We have one more, we thank you all for being here, thank Phil, and thank Sarah, no, thanks. Rose, Rose.